What's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here and in today's video, I'm going to show you why you can cancel your perplexity plan and use a free open source alternative. And no, this isn't Perplexica that I've talked about in yesterday's video. This is a tool called Morphic. We're going to dive into it, show you how you can use this either on their own cloud 100% for free or how you can self host it on your own uh, computer and use it with the mo model you desire, whether it's GPT 4.0. Uh, Claude, Anthropic, Olama, whatever the case may be, let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so this tool, Morphic, um, you, all the links that I talk about will be in the description down below. But right now, I'm actually just, I'm not even self-hosting. Well, I am self-hosting in a different tab, but this tab right here is morphic.sh. And you can go to Morphic and just to show you kind of how it works, um, it's a bit different. So just uh, for those who didn't see yesterday's video, I covered a tool called uh, Perplexica. So I would definitely recommend checking that out as well, because if you're looking for perplexity alternatives, may as well know all the different alternatives and be able to use all of them or whatever one you prefer. And, uh, and then, yeah, and I, you know, maybe even use Perplexity 2 if you want that as well. But um, yeah, Perplexity, I'm, I'll also kind of touch on why these two are different briefly. But let's go back to Morphic here. I'm just going to show you an example. Let's just say, why is NVIDIA growing rapidly? So you can see here, as we load it up, it gives us actually some like uh, trending topics kind of, which I actually do like. Let's just see why NVIDIA is blowing up. And if you're um, into AI, like a lot of people that watch this channel you probably have a decent idea as to why nvidia is blowing up now funny enough i believe i'm on the so there's three different models you can go we have uh high speed or speed which is high speed but low quality and this is open ai gpt40 mini so gpt40 mini is still pretty good quality and then quality which is gpt uh this is speed and quality balanced uh, open ai gpt optimized so it's probably gpt 4.0 and then quality which is claude uh high quality generation anthropic uh claude's 3.5 sonnet so this is actually interesting because they have been doing uh upgrades to kind of their system okay so to unlock this you need to sign in for a okay so you do need to let me just authenticate real quick here i'm going to create an account Okay, so I'm going to be quite honest with you. Um, I'm currently at least just having some issues with the morphic.sh site. This is their hosted one. I'm going to show you how to set it up self-hosted anyways. And um, if, I mean, I know it should be working. Maybe it's just my, I don't know, my current like cookies. Or maybe it's just a, a lot of throttling right now on their servers. I don't know, but it's just not really loading uh this even on this fast one so anyways um i did just self-host it i'm going to show you how to self-host it and i still will leave the link to their cloud one so you can test it out yourself see if it works for you um regardless if you're going to use it um at least from what i'm seeing right now it kind of makes more sense just to self-host it so anyways here is what uh the github looks like uh link for that will be in the description down below quick overview um you can see all the different features here search and use generative uh, ui understand users questions search, search history functionality share search results optional video search support get answers from specific urls use as a search engine support providers other than open ai so google generative ai provider anthropic olama and then specific model uh, specify model to generate answers uh, using grok api support and then the stack is Next.js, similar to uh, Perplexica, built, built on Next.js. It's using the Vercel AI SDK for text streaming and generative UI. Uh, generative model is OpenAI and, uh, initially. And then Search API is Tavily, uh, Tavily AI and then Serper. So we'll get into that in just a second. Reader API, Gina uh, AI, serverless database, Upstash component uh library shad cn um ui which is uh really good i like that ui for Next.js apps um i mean pretty popular and then headless component primitives uh radix ui 
and then styling tailwind SS, uh, css okay so all we're gonna do is you're gonna go to your desired folder and you're gonna run this command git clone and then it says you can fork it but honestly i just use the same repo here because it's i mean it's the same thing really then so you're gonna do that you're gonna run that command in your um in your terminal okay next step is you're going to cd into the git cloned repo which is cd morphic then you you're gonna want to have bun installed so i'll leave a link to bun.sh in the comment uh in the link description down below if you ha don't have bun installed on your system you just go here if you're on windows you just run this command right here right here so irm bun sh and here it is for linux and mac so once you have bun installed if you don't have it already install it then we're gonna set up upstash reddit uh, redis so follow the guy below to set up upstash redis create a database and obtain the upstash redis rest url and rest token and you can refer to upstash guide for instructions on how to proceed so really it's actually just simple you just go to upstash um and once you do that you just create a free account all right so it's pretty simple you're just going to sign up for upstash and then you're going to create a database you can select a free tier once you select a free tier you can open up the database and you can scroll down to rest api and you just copy the upstash redis rest url as well as the rest uh, token right here and that is what we're going to put in the environment variables right here so once you have that you're going to open your uh invite so if we go into morphic right here you'll see an environment local file right here we're going to open that in our uh, text editor or our coder whatever you want to use for this example i have cursor right here um and as you can see you're just going to paste in your open ai api key your tal v oh so that's another thing you want is tal uh tavily so you're gonna go to tavily i'll leave a link down below you're gonna sign up and then you get a uh, api key right here you can just copy it and then if we go back to cursor you're gonna paste in all that stuff here tavily um you're gonna paste upstash and all that stuff then there's optional settings so this is dependent on if you want to use something else other than open ai like if you want to use um so we have like open ai model gpt40 mini and we have google generative api key right here so you just un uh like mark this uh like toggle this on and then we put all that information here so anthropic is right here <clears throat> And then Olama is right here. Apparently, this is unstable at the moment. So if you want to use Olama, enable the following variables: Olama model, submodel, base URL, and uh, base URL is uh, that right there. And then <clears throat> there's some other options too: Serper API, if you want to use that. <clears throat> and then um, <clears throat> enable the share feature. So different options here that you could toggle off. I'm just going to keep it very simple for the case of this video. Um, also, too, there's OpenAI AP, uh, open API base. So use to set the base URL for the OpenAI API request. If you need to set the base, uh, a set of base URL, uncomment and set the following. So I'm not 100% sure just because I haven't done this yet, but just seeing this, it, I would assume that you could change this to, let's just say, for example, um, Together AI. So for example, I put it to Together AI and I did a video yesterday with Perplexica showing you how to do that with Together AI and you just change the OpenAI API base. You can do this with many different um, like models. A lot of them, will you, you can like change the OpenAI API base and put their base URL and then you can like change the model and it will allow you to use that with their tool. But uh, I'm not going to do that in this video. But then you could access models like if that if it did work, you could access models like um, like Llama like Llama 3.1b uh, 7405 and a bunch of different models, right? But you can do this with Grok and and whatnot. Anyways, once you enter your environment variables, which I already did, I just undid it just for so you guys could see there. Then we are going to first of all go back here as you can see i have many tabs open 
we're gonna go back and next command i believe it's our final command is we're just going to run app locally so within that same folder and we're in morphic we're going to go bun dev we're gonna run that command from that point on actually did we already build yeah so this built the uh, install the dependencies bun install then we're bun deving it and it's going to um deploy the app on port 3000 or if that port's av uh, not available it will go deploy it on 301 3001 or 3002 whatever the case may be and here we are we are at my local hosted version of morphic right so luckily this is has been working and it works good and um yeah i don't know why the morphic site isn't working maybe it's going to work when you got if you guys do check but yeah you guys can check and see if it's working for you but uh, let's just go ahead and say why is nvidia growing so quickly and let's see what we get boom so pretty fast like and we have and I'll use the same search in perplexity and we'll see what we get. So we have images here. We have sources. It's very, the UI is very similar to perplexity and it has related right here. And then you can even ask follow-up questions. So it has the sources too linked right here. So here we have like AI and data center demand, market share dominance, revenue growth, technological advancement. So good answer. Um, let's go ahead and act, ask perplexity the exact same question just to see, um, now I'm not gonna lie, guys. I know so, some people like hate on perplexity. I, I, I get why you can hate on perplexity because it is like just using. Um, I mean, it's like the same thing as OpenAI or Anthrop or whatever the model you're using, but it's like kind of just a wrapper for for Google. But at the same time, like I get if you, I get good. I get a lot of value from it. So I'm still gonna continue. Me personally, I'm still gonna continue paying. It's only twenty bucks a month, but um yeah if you're like strapped for cash or you don't want to pay it then you i would definitely use these other alternatives but at the same time too Plex, perplexity does have a free plan it just doesn't give you the best results um i always like using this pro uh right here because this allows you um lots of times it will do like multiple queries um so like if you ask it a question that's like three parts and it has to know about this and then this and then this to have like full context it will do separate searches and separate queries so you could have it could have referenced like in your answer like 20 30 potential like articles and resources so it's really good at researching in my opinion um as you can see the interface is kind of similar um I, I for open source morphic is definitely something i'm excited about and uh, definitely will be using at the end of the day like if 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 they were both open source what do i think is better i'd probably think say perplexity um and honestly i'd say the same thing about perple uh, perplexica compared to perplexity now if we're looking at perplexica which i did a video on yesterday check that out if you haven't already compared to morphic what i would say is um one thing about perplexica is you don't need something like uh tavil uh tavil uh tav tavil tavili oh my goodness tavili um yeah you don't need something like tavili because it uses a search search and search and g which is an open source like google type thing so that's kind of a plus but also too at the same time the tavily is like specific for ai so they're actually may i don't know i'm not just like a huge expert around this tool i haven't used it a lot something to look into i, I believe i think this is the same one that cl can connect with uh cloud engineer i'll have to double check um may do a video on that coming up but yeah, either way, this is specifically made for around like AI searching and LLM. So I'm assuming it's probably pretty good. Um, and then also too, it uses like a database here, which is kind of cool. I've actually, and then there's like vector stuff. This is actually a pretty cool uh, database um, to check out. So I, I will have to see and play around in terms of like the search quality. Um, it's hard to say what is... I mean they're pretty similar to be quite honest i think you just have to test them out and play around with them for a few days and see what you like the best but other than that guys that is it for this video on how to install morphic self-hosted a free open source alternative to perplexity and you could potentially not use perplexity and just use these open source models you could set up olama and then have a fully open source on your system and you could do it for free right so that's what we are all about Show, you know the different tool strategies on how to use ai in the most efficient way possible so if you're new to the channel 
um and you're not already subscribed smash that subscribe button i checked the analytics today i think like only like eight percent of people are subscribed that watch this so uh definitely drop us hit that like button hit that subscribe button definitely helps out the channel grow other than that guys if you're also new here and you haven't already joined the free stride community a group of like-minded entrepreneurs ai enthusiasts developers our uh salespeople, marketers whatever Join that link in the description, stridecommunity.com. And then two guys, also, if you haven't already checked out my book, Client Acquisition Code, all right, definitely check this out. If you run a business, I have a full chapter on AI prompting, uh, marketing, email, cold email, uh, paid ads, Facebook ads, media buying, YouTube ads, all that good stuff, all in that book. It's very, very value packed. I guarantee you'll love it. So check that out for, uh, in the description down below. Other than that, guys, if you have any questions about this video let me know but i will and any suggestions on future videos because we make a video a day here so i will see you in tomorrow's video keep hustling keep grinding and of course guys accelerate your stride take care